age were you? Um, so I was quite young when I first got interested in politics. Uh, I'd have been about <coughs> 15. Um, uh, it was when lots of bad things were happening in the 1980s. It was like a bit similar to this time now. And I used to say to my mum and dad, oh, I want to get more involved in politics. And they were like, oh, we know nothing about politics. Why do you want to do that? So I was like the only one in the family who was really interested. Sometimes people in politics have like a, a mum or a dad who's a councillor or an MP or they know people. In, but I knew nobody, you know, nobody in my family was in, in politics. Um, but I decided to do it. And I suppose my story is that shows you don't have to know people in it to do to, to get on in politics. Um, but it's a very tough world as well, so I, I would I would say that as well. But it was when I was when I was about fifteen, so that would have been in nineteen eighty five, when I really decided to, to try and get more involved. What does your council do to help the homeless? Well, it's a very big priority for me because I think it's the biggest challenge when you've got people who have got nowhere to go. Um, we've all got to, to do something to help. So we're doing something here in Manchester that nowhere else is doing, where we're trying to give everybody a bed every night of the week. So we don't want anyone to have to sleep outside on the streets. Uh, so it's called A Bed Every Night, um, and we're running that across Greater Manchester. So all of the 10 councils in Greater Manchester are all part of this. And we've helped about 2,000 people so far. Uh, so we're hopefully making a making a difference, uh, but it's a it's tough. It's a it's a challenge to keep finding the money to fund it. But I am absolutely determined that we're going to do that. Because when I was standing to be the mayor of Greater Manchester, I said that tackling homelessness would be my biggest priority. When you're away from politics, how do you spend your free time? Mm. Well. Even though I am the Mayor of Greater Manchester, I am a staunch Evertonian. So I am often to be found in the Gladys Street end of Goodison Park. Uh, and uh, that isn't always relaxing, given the way they play, but can be. It's still a good, a good way to, um, to, to get get my, myself in a different, in a different uh, world. Having said that, with the league championship, the title race, the way that it is, I'm definitely a supporter of Manchester City uh, for the next month or two, just to make sure that Liverpool don't win, don't win the league. In terms of everything else that I do, I do like music, so I do go and watch a lot of um, uh, concerts in and around Manchester, and the other thing I would I would um, mention is I do a lot of running, so I find that if you go running, it kind of helps you just feel a bit better about yourself, and it gives you a bit of time to think. So I I do a lot of running, and I'm about to run in a marathon uh, next week, so um, that'll give me plenty of time to do some thinking because it will take me at least four hours I think to uh, uh, to to do that. So. Football, music, running. Oh, I see my family every now and again as well. So when when when, when they're around. Uh, but now that's those are the things that I uh, I focus on in my free time. What should the government do to help all schools over the UK support people with autism and disabilities? Much more. What happens is people. Um, with disabilities or autistic people get left fighting for every bit of help when actually it should be as easy as possible. People with more needs should be the top priority, the first priority. Um, and yet it doesn't seem to work like that. Everyone's got the right to a full education and for all of the kind of barriers in the way of that to be completely uh, removed. And actually, young people should always be the priority uh, when it comes to any type of investment. And the government has never got that right, as far as I'm concerned. It's left people with the greatest needs facing the biggest challenges to get the support that they, that they need. And I think that's very true 
of, uh, of people uh, with autism. What does Manchester mean to you? Oh, that's a good question because I have to whisper that we're in this place, but I was born in Liverpool. Oh. Ah, I know, so it's sensitive, isn't it? But when I was one, my dad got a job in Manchester. So my mum and dad moved us halfway between Liverpool and Manchester. And I ended up sort of going to both of them. And actually I spent more time probably in, in Manchester um, than I did in Liverpool when I was, when I was growing up. Uh, what does it mean to me? It's quite an amazing place. It's like Liverpool, but I hear it's just a, a bit different in that it's maybe not as argumentative as Liverpool in that people are a bit more practical in the way that they kind of work together. So the symbol of Manchester is the bee. I don't know if you've ever seen that symbol. Uh, so the, the worker bee. And what it kind of stands for is a place where everyone works as a team, in, like in the hive. You know, everyone's working for each other and no one's more important than anyone else. And I think Manchester's definitely got that kind of spirit of teamwork and everybody kind of pulling together in the same direction. And it's not always the case in other cities. And I would even say in my own city of my birth in Liverpool, it's not always the case that everybody works together in that way. But here they seem to, 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 to do that. So it's a quite a special place, uh, Manchester. Um, and I, I think it's a city of equality, diversity, so people with all backgrounds, faiths, disabilities, sexuality, everything, everyone's equal. And it's a place that very much stands together in solidarity with each other. So it's, it's a great place to be the mayor of. Thank you for letting me interview you for Autism Adventures UK. Oh, you're welcome, Millie. It's been a pleasure uh, to meet you. And your questions were brilliant. And uh, I hope some of my answers um, gave you the things you were looking for.